three, two, one. I think in the 20th century, the church in the West had a big swing away from hell, particularly because of the First World War. Having seen so much hell on earth, a lot of people thought, you know, you can't really believe that that'll go on uh, hereafter as well. And also, there are many people who've grown up in fundamentalist circles, either fundamentalist Protestant or fundamentalist Catholic, for whom hell was really the defining thing. You do this, you say your prayers, you say do this, uh, behave yourself, or you'll be going to hell. It's rather like parents saying to kids, unless you behave yourself, Father Christmas won't bring you any, uh, any goodies at Christmas time. And so then people react against that and say, hell was used as a weapon to scare me into being a good little boy, a good little girl. And really, we shouldn't do that, and we've got to do it differently. And so they back right off. I understand that reaction. It seems to me the mature reaction is then to say, OK, that's where we've started culturally and maybe Christianly. Now, how do we re-inhabit what the New Testament is actually talking about?